Yeah, so I mean, uh, the, the news that I got selected in the World Cup was a very, um, very heart, heartening news. Uh, I, I had, I had the fun after hearing the news in terms of, you know, um, enjoying myself and gratification of what I wanted to achieve in life. So that was one side of it and uh, had, had some special dreams getting into the World Cup, wanting to do special things for the team. And uh, after a point of time, more than trying to prove anybody else right or wrong, it's about trying to prove uh, prove it to yourself and also, you know, uh, have have something to achieve for the team. Uh, unfortunately, after the first two losses, uh, I did feel a bit low about it and uh, wasn't wasn't a special feeling. It's it's never a special feeling when you lose games and uh, uh, maybe the chance of qualification took a bit of a dent. But after after yesterday's win. Uh, we still do have our fingers crossed and, uh, you know, hope things go right. So, yeah, um, barring that, uh, it was it's quite a special night. Uh, ex uh, every, every single delivery that I wanted to execute fell in place. And, yeah, it, it was a special night for me. Um, look, fortunately, I've, uh, I, I believe, I believe uh, life is a circle. For some people, it's a small one. And for some people, it's a large one. So, uh, which, which is definitely not in our hands. Uh, for me... Um, the understanding patterns in my life and career has been something that I've done very well over the last couple of years. Uh, whenever I've had uh, a very good stretched pattern of uh, stretched form, a good form or whenever it has been the other way, I've also had some deep trenches to go through, some some very uh, long periods of lull that I've had to go through, which I, I don't want to, uh, you know, read too much into it as to why those lulls have happened. But definitely that's a pattern I've embraced in my life. So uh, staying humble through good periods and success has, uh, is, 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 a, is a statement that a lot of people make and a lot of people in my fraternity make, but I've, I've firmly embraced it and I've lived it. And uh, I believe uh, success, like Shane Wan once said, you, you only get successful 33% of the times uh, in your career. And Sachin has also echoed that at some uh, stage of his career. So uh, who am I? I'm no different. So I embrace it. Um, the easiest way to cope up with it and... Uh, go through a professional circle like that is to keep preparing, keep working really hard, expecting an opportunity to just turn up at your doorstep one day. And when it happens, you've got all the options to, you know, break open doors and break open latches and locks. And that's what life is all about. So live for those days, keep preparing like that day will come. Um, it's very easy to lose motivation and lose hope and, uh, you know, for, close those doors and just hide behind it and keep complaining. But that's something that I will definitely not do. Because uh, for me, it's not about what the game has given me. It's about uh, what I've given to the game and how much I enjoy playing the game. Uh, you put three stumps anywhere and ask me to play a game at this stage of my life, I would do it with utmost happiness. Um, I'm making an attempt uh, for a lot of people who are actually consuming this game and also uh, um, giving expert opinions on the game. Uh, I sometimes feel it is... Uh, I, feel, I sometimes feel sorry for them because... Um, I've been playing this format from the year 2007-8 and uh, every two years the game leaves our realms and it teaches us something because the game is so fast-paced. People are trying to, you know, get that 1% advantage through various technologies that's presenting itself. So uh, I feel uh, the understanding of the game is still uh, backward in so many ways. And uh, uh, for me, uh, when, you, when you call upon a bowler and say, uh, you know, he's got to pick wickets, we are talking about links. Uh, for fast bowlers, there are different play, uh, plans. For spinners, there are different plans. And there are certain lengths that a bowler cannot afford to bowl like he bowls in a test match, especially for a spinner. Most often than not, wicket-taking is uh, seen as seen as something that, that just happens. It's not like that. Uh, a lot of our, uh, you know, uh, experts and uh, um, wise men that have played the game say that cricket is a game of partnerships. Uh, somebody for every wicket that a bowler is picking, there is an over that's been bowled before or after that's created that wicket. So we need to understand that. And every wicket that falls through a middle over is a result of few dot balls played by a batter or bowled by another bowler. So uh, these are just, I think, I think I I think I expect too much from people watching the game, but this is exactly how I play the game. Uh, I cannot shirk my responsibility of bowling dot balls or bowling economically. Uh, but in the process, if I get wickets, I'm getting wickets. And I also need to keep in mind the interests of the team and what the team expects from me at that particular ball. There are 24 events I get in a game. And these are cliche terms used by people uh, inside the team and outside the team as well. But I take it very seriously. 24 events and I need to win every event. And what is a victory? That victory is directly relational to what my team needs. It's not what I need. 
easy for me to throw the ball up looking for a wicket. But remember, every T20 game is won by a margin of two runs or won by a margin of one ball or two balls. So uh, I need to keep that in mind every single ball that I go. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, circles are never completed. They keep going in loops. <laughs> so uh, you, I can't really say the circle has come around and all that. But uh, um, the, the perception of uh, finger spin uh, needs to change, I feel. Uh, ever since 2017, uh, I, was, I was going through a very good phase of my test career and I felt like I was bowling amazing stock balls at that point of time. I didn't require anything else to be doing at that stage. But uh, like I said, uh, the circle stops, right? It, it, has, it has stations at every single place. And that Champions Trophy final was one of those stations where I had to halt and think about my cricket. And ever since I've, I've evolved as a T20 bowler, um, I've bowled a lot more deliveries that that are so subtle that people are still, you know, terming them as carom balls and off spin and arm balls. Uh, but those are very subtle. I'm trying to create different angles to create different seam positions. Um, the ball I dismissed uh, Gulbuddin Naib yesterday was anything but a carom ball. It wasn't. So uh, I've worked on it. Uh, I've got I've got so many more options uh, than what I used to have at that particular point of time. And uh, uh, when I when I bowl to a right hander, I think like a left arm spinner or a leg spinner. When I bowl to a left hander, I think like an off spinner. So thinking creates the intent and the intent eventually translate into practice and then goes into a game. So there is a lot of work gone there. It is just that the consumption of what I do needs to change. Um, I think I think Rahul has got uh, immense depth of knowledge and he's got a, a good vision for uh, anything that he does in life. He's got an amazing vision. Somebody who's done the hard yards, I would say. Um, uh, in, in, in times when people... Uh, for having played the game and at the highest level believe uh, believe that they can contribute to teams through being coaches. Rahul Bhai has gone through the journey and the grind of being at the NCA, gone through the Indian A team. I think he knows what's in store, what's in future, who's playing right now. He's played with some of us inside this dressing room. Uh, he also knows all the young boys and I don't think if there is anyone that where you can where you can pull every bit of knowledge that you can pull from, it's Rahul Bhai. And, uh, uh, I'm really looking forward to this team, trying to contribute alongside Rahul Bhai and being of use to uh, the team's cause in any way as possible. And what is the first half of your question? About discussions in the dressing room. Yeah. Um, so, um, I think there are hardly any discussions with regards to that because uh, the discussion that we need to have is about how we are going to go about the couple of games that we have left and uh, everybody is planning and wanting to go on a real high for the last two games. Uh, the rest of it is not in our control. It's fingers crossed. Uh, it's, a, it's a funny game. Uh, and Afghanistan have played good cricket. A lot of our hopes rest with them as well. So, um, all the very best to them. Uh, really wish if we can uh, provide any physio support to Mujib, we can get him onto the field and the park. And that is all I think we can hope for. Um, they have played good cricket. Pakistan have played wonderful cricket. We've just fallen short of uh, what we could achieve in the first two games. So we find ourselves where we find ourselves on the table and that's T20 cricket. Very quick, uh, can't really come back um, into a tournament like this when you've had games like that. So we want to finish the tournament really well. Zarur, uh, I think uh, with respect to family traveling during these bubbles, uh, I, one, of those con one of those very funny things um, I heard, like some of the people that live in Dubai, my friends and some you know acquaintances, uh, they still don't get the life of a bubble. They actually think bubble means we are living in a hotel and we are playing the games. They they want to meet. <laughs> so, we don't get to see other people at all. In fact, uh, we live on, uh, we live amongst ourselves. We live within rooms. Uh, just try and create some environment where we are communicating with each other and trying to play a, a few team building games here and there. And that is all we've been doing for the last eight months to ten months. And uh, truth be told, without my family, I would have struggled so much. I continue to owe, it, owe a lot to them. Uh, many a times when the team loses or we put pictures of family, you know, uh, going out and all that, people uh, people go after us saying, what are you doing? You're on holiday with your family and all that. But uh, we are hardly on a holiday. Uh, the time that we come back to the room, if we have had a good or a bad day, family is the only place where we can lean upon. Uh, they've played more than a small role in what's happened in the last eight months. Yes, we've had some great results. We've had not so great results, but those are what happens on the field. Behind the field, we are also human beings and we also have a family and we need to have that sort of space and cushion to be able to go out there and play the next day. So uh, I'm extremely, uh, extremely uh, thankful to my wife and my kids uh, for having done this. Um, and yeah, I'm sure most of the other players who had their family will feel the same as well. 
Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Arash. Thanks for your time. Happy meeting. Yeah.